Good evening, campers. As part of the Booker Boy Book Club, we are making our way through the International Booker Long List. And with that, we're going to touch on After the Sun by Jonas Aker. I, I, I mean, this is a short story collection and a half. Aker within this collection discusses climate fiction, discusses science fiction, discusses banks, discusses UFO chasers, discusses what three drug addicts are going to do to raise a child, discusses the travel industry, and puts a, puts a whole different meaning on the word shrimp dick, of which when I was growing up meant something very different to what Aker describes. It's weird, but Aker is self-aware of what he's doing over these five, well, maybe four stories if you know you know and if you know that this has been published by lolly of whom published the employees last year by olga rather you'll understand what type of territory you are going into Aker's short story collection the first story alvin discusses our protagonist who is trying to get to a bank but it has been closed there he gets involved with alvin who has documented his time in consumerism the time that he first had a kfc the time where the Whopper and the Big Mac were going to collaborate his first time at the subway, all these fast food joints. We then move into a shower scene where we move into a very erotic, sensual exploration of shampoo. And the eroticism really beds its way into the short story collection. Even the second and the last short stories both call Bad Mexican Dog are, are, are riddled with debaucherous means. Honestly, that shrimp dick scene, what what was going on there? If Call Me By Your Name turns you onto fruit and you want some more vitamin C, man, then I recommend picking up this. <laughs> the third story, Rachel Nevada, and the fourth story, me, Rory, and Aurora are gingerly swept up in the surrounding bad Mexican dog. Let's talk about bad Mexican dog a little bit more. We're, we're focused on beach boys and people being employed as beach boys. Those who put out the sun decks, who give towels out to people, who put on sun cream, lotion for the passers by. But Aka early on depicts that there's a almost, not a sex work that is involved, but they're working for tips and the boss takes a remainder of that and there's a sexualization of what the Beach Boys are doing. The two main Beach Boys of this story revolves around understand that if they fetishize their Mexican-ness, they therefore make more money because they have more customers because they're given the authentic experience. But this tie into sex work, you never see that they have sex. You will later on, don't you worry about that, with other people. And here lies the quandary that Aker wants to discuss. What is the difference between exploration and exploitation? But then Aker has a love song to a parasol. I wonder what a love song would sound like in Danish. Let me speak to Sarah. Oh, hey, Sarah. Oh, hi, Kieran. Sarah, why mm -hmm. are we here? I literally have no idea. Well, we're going to find out through a series of questions. Sarah, Good. can you name the characters of Friends? Yes. Phoebe, Joey, Rachel, Monica, who's Ross. Who was on a break? Rachel and, and Ross. What's your favorite day of the week? Saturday. How would you say fart if you had a stammer? What do you do when you go to a ballot box? Vote. What would you call a stallion made of cantaloupe? A melon horse? A what noise does a horse make? Nay. What Buddhists say when they meditate. Um. Can you can you vary up the speeds um, on that? Oh. <laughs> um. 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 Um, 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 um. Sarah, would you like mm -hmm. to be in my band? Yep. And if you were German, how would you say that? Da. That's Russian. Yeah. Yeah. What role would you want to be in the band? Drummer. Bell Orange. O R A. Yeah, no, like, like, wait, wait, wait. Start from the beginning. Okay. Can you go like way slower for me? O R A. Like, can you start from the beginning? And go slower. 
Oh. If it's not lost, it's... Found. But you don't like the letter D. Found. Can you name a pig product for me? Bacon. Another one. Ham. (laughs) Could you say it, like, in a way that you can't remember how to end that word? Ham. This is going to be great. (laughs) Finish the film quote. Blank, tailor, soldier, spy. Tinker. When you marry someone, what would you say? I do. What's the opposite of rich? Poor. It'll work with an American accent. And what's the fifth month of the year? (laughs) Would it be different? Poor. Is that better? Yeah, that's that's way better. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And what's the fifth month of the year? I wasn't expecting this to be the hardest one. Yeah, yeah. May. Can you say those last four in succession, please? Tinker, I do poor. Why why can't I poor? Poor. Like like a like a like a like a dog's paw. Poor. Yes. Poor. Tinker, I do poor May. Thank you for singing in Swedish and Danish for a YouTube video. Do a Elegant put put as always. <laughs> Rachel Eddie Ross. Vote a melon horse. Tinker do poor May. Well, that was a tangent and a half. Give this a go. I'd give this a five out of ten. Maybe I'm a short story person now. Maybe I'm a short story person.